Hello and welcome to a new season on iRacing. We're getting started here on Monday night as the season switched over officially with some Gen 4 at The Rock. We're at Rockingham and uh, this is a combo I've really enjoyed in the past and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We might even see a little bit of the oval refresh come into play here but uh, I'm gonna take my normal approach Saving tire here is always going to be very, very important, and uh, I'm going to take that approach, and we'll see later if, as laps get put down on the track, green, green, green. we start okay. needing to uh, move around a little bit and see if we got some more speed than we might expect. First things first, though. Qualifying. I found that the high line on both ends of the track. It's quite good. One more lap. So we'll do that there and then see if we got anything else to give here on lap, lap two. Lap oh, I had to really fight it. Lost a lot of speed getting sideways there. Fastest lap for East. I probably killed the tires heat wise <laughs> after sliding all the way through uh, the exit of the two. So, probably nothing for lap two, but I wanted to push a little harder lap two, see if we had anything. <laughs> I had to uh, do some origami with my wheel in order to hold on to that thing. But we're in the threes, I'll take that. Fastest I had in the open practice before this was a point three zero zero as you can see down here in the bottom left uh, the tracks much faster than it has been in the past I don't know if that's a surface change from the oil the oil refresh <laughs> no the uh, oval refresh I don't know why I said oil it's weird uh, oval refresh I don't know if that's a surface change from that like maybe uh, because the track is starting off a bit cooler got some more grip and then later in the run, we're going to be sliding around a little bit more. But definitely faster. Could just be track temp, uh, or air temp, track temp in general anyway. And nothing to do with the oval refresh. But you can run all over the track here at the Rock. Fantastic place to race. You can take it down low here in turns one and two. You can go up by the wall and get a huge cut down, get some great speed out of the corner. As you saw, the fast way around was kind of using the higher line, but I think saving tire-wise, we're going to be slowing it down real good and then taking it to the low side. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to protect our long run by doing so. I've got my brake bias down to 60%. I think that'll help. Got to remember to use the brakes, though. Get on it pretty good. Hopefully we don't get run over, because you can definitely be much faster, but I think uh, slowing it down will be very useful. It's going to be tough to balance, you know, keeping track position, and at the same time, not killing the tires. So I think right now we're going to do a practice pit in. Alright, that seems about good. Officials hate me as usual, but that's okay. Uh, we'll unmute that now before I forget. For real. I mean, he still has the papyrus grip hack. <laughs> You're also starting 21st, so that really doesn't help. Larry is on pole with a very, very fast lap. I'm sorry, I just. Begged I'm happy with my P3. There. Are you saying I was better than you on the NRO3 too? Because I believe it. Hey now, listen. I'll maybe get out my Glock. We could get on the right Larry rear here, so I'm going to be careful on exits there. as well. Get throttling it up. That means he doesn't touch grass much. But no, first, uh, first race of the week and a 3.4k strength of field. We'll see the exact number here as we grid up in a moment. P3. The only grass I touch is on your mother's field, if you know what I mean. 
Well, mother. Hundred laps. Yeah, Kevin is. Uh, you don't know what that is. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. One. I hopped off the port. Maybe a little bit of wiggle room here as we can make it 65. Well, we got Leo and Dallas in here. You know it's a great. We expect to be fighting for the podium. Only two sets of tires. We better be good with those. Thomas, you missed on the setup. Hey, Dante. Normally, you got it. Yeah, I agree. It's a, it's very tough out here. Definitely will uh, snap on you at times. Easy to slide up into the wall, especially as the tires wear out, but can be a lot of fun as well. Those two things, not uh, necessarily unrelated. Tough uh, handling race cars can lead to some fun racing. I think we're going to leave some space for Larry, not to uh, run under the back of him. Gonna judge where his pace is, no pun intended, and uh, see uh, how hard he's saving. I figure he knows. He's usually got a really good idea, a good feel for how to approach it. Gonna try to avoid to get uh, getting in too many battles. Hopefully the guys behind are willing to save some tire too. Not just destroy us. Two sets of tires though. That's pretty pretty wild with how hard the wear is here. Gotta be real smart about how we use those. Just one to green here, as this is, I think, at least a mile long. I think this is a mile long track. I can't feel my lip. Or my tongue. We got my big 9mm sitting right next to me. Yeah, brother. Is this a first gear start? Bro, you live in O Block and Goddamn. Feels like it might be a first gear start. Because look how low our RPMs are. Man, you never know. I'm come prepared. No why Interesting. That makes me nervous with tire spin in this car. But we'll be gentle on it. These guys are talkative. I can't even understand what you're saying because I'm not paying attention. But somebody fucking wrecks me, I'm gonna shoot my monitor. Have a good race, everybody. Okay, guys. Green, green, green. green. Outside. Okay, uh, Larry's just going to self spin into turn Clear. one. Oh, that was surprising. Wow, okay. Don't see that often. So, we were talking about uh, this being a tough combo. Yep. Cold tires entering turn one, you might as well be on an ice rink, so. We're gonna just try not to do that. And, uh, keep the tires on it. Got a little bit of space there, I think. Maybe some guys checked up for that. I checked up for that. That guy's going to the wall. No caution from it, because he got below the uh, apron, or onto the apron. That's not the start of the season he wanted, I, I can tell you that. You've just done a 23 See, we're entering a lot softer than this 21. 21 is just going to murder his tires. But it might not matter if we get cautions, so we'll see how it goes. Might have to get around him. I'm gonna enter high, cut down, see if I can overtake. Ooh, I'm driving under the wall. That's not how to overtake. You know what? Let me calm down. Just let the tires do the. Pa oh, he's getting loose. I would really like to get past this guy. 
Outside. He's giving me uh, Clear scary vibes. But he's got that high line, which is giving him the run off. Gotta remember 100 laps here. Don't need to be in a rush. It's two leaders, I think. Uh, they went off in a hurry, but I think it, they kind of just pushed through the uh, early part a little bit harder. Don't know if they're necessarily killing their tires, but probably just were a little bit more assertive with opening laps. thought that guy was spinning down into me for a second. It looked like he was sideways. And then me looking at him got me sideways. Just got to focus on myself. Got to remember. To uh, pay attention to what I'm doing first and foremost. Yeah, he's getting sideways like every time out of four. Car outside. One like three feet. Go low. Outside, clear. Car outside. Clear high. Alright, get around him. Hopefully we can keep it. Evan wanted to go to the pits again. I do think he's hurting his tires real bad. Nope, well at least he didn't hit anything. <laughs> but we're green for 10 laps. That's not bad at all. This place can sometimes turn into a wreck fest. So I'm glad we got some laps right now. Back to where we started. And it looks like we might be, uh... Catching up to P2 a little bit, whether that's because they already hurt their tires or if because uh, they're slowing, uh, slowing their pace a little bit. Hard to say. Amen, brother. If I can't finish, then neither can you. Act. Oh, Larry, you can have it there, bud. Holy smoke. Just gonna keep taking that tire saving line. Oh, we got smoke. Someone must have uh, had an issue. Good consistency. Turn this one and two. I didn't know if you saw me coming or not. I just went for it. Check him out here at the back. Back wings a little bit. Out. All right, Colton. The next car is Griffin. That was a twenty-four point one. I'd be careful getting on it like that. That worked that time, but I don't know if that's going to work every time. I got a little bit hard on the gas. Reached the 10 car. The next car oh my god, he's blinking. That scared me. <laughs> I was not expecting that at that moment. We'll come in, get to his inside. Clear. Car outside. Go low. He might be able to hold us off. Clear up top. Yeah. Time He's not gonna let us have it. Car Doesn't outside. look like it. Keep oh, big wreck on the yeah. uh, single file. All right. Pit road is closed. Holy shit! I might not finish last. So, lap 35 is when the pit window kind of opens. I heard someone say that was a huge wreck. So far I see a 119 car. Not sure uh, what we're going to do for tires here. It's still very early. I think we can't pit right now. That may or may not be the longest green run we get this race. 
No, yeah, I get that. It was kind of like one of those, uh, get on the solder, Ron Horner, name moment, we both got out of it good. You're good, Sam. The car just got tight coming off the corner. All I right. wasn't expecting Pretended. It. Didn't do it, though. Yeah, I realized this car kind of... Looks like most people are not coming in. Yeah, and that's kind of what it did. I, hit a I just feel like it's no, very, it's very unlikely right to go green to the end here. Um, like I said, that could very well be the longest green run we get. I feel like I did better than some guys on my tire wear that first run. Now, fresh tires would still be 110% better, but... I'm racing the guys around me, not a theoretical fresh tire guy. So, uh, I think we're okay. Just gotta be really careful in the start, especially if we are gonna be starting in P or P, you know. Gear one is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna test that out, in fact. Yeah, that's very, very sketchy. This is a place you get a lot of wrecks on restarts, too. So I think you've got too much gear to just go with second gear. Yeah, I think you definitely want to do first gear, but you got to be really careful, so. Just uh, can't get excited. When that green comes out, or when you see that guy jump, sometimes your instinct is just to, <laughs> like, stomp on the gas pedal. You can't do that with a car with this much power and starting in first gear especially. You've got to uh, react quick, but uh, not violently. <laughs> react quick, but gently with the throttle pedal. It's kind of a, a tough thing to do. But we're going to try it here. We'll, uh, I, I'm pretty sure we don't have single file restarts in this car, unfortunately. We had that luxury in Diet Dr. Pepper series, but not here in officials. But it does work out for us this time, I guess. We'll be on the inside, although I don't even know if inside's where you want to be. Probably doesn't matter, honestly. Um, you can run just about anywhere here at the Rock, but I do want to go to the bottom to save tires, so at least I'll already be there. I feel like the 10 would be able to hold us off just fine, though, if he uh, wants to hold on to P2. We'll be starting behind the leader here in the One Turtle to Juice to Toyota. Line. Line up on the inside. With, with that lime green line. color. That's fun. Complimentary colors with my purple grape. Unsponsored. If you're looking to sponsor NASCAR Cup Series era 2003 car, please send your inquiries to Colton Tyndall at realemail.com. Let's get some sponsors, guys. So getting started here, 80 to go. We still will need fuel, though, whether uh, we do it under caution or under green conditions or not. About to go green, stay focused. See what we can do. Got to be careful on this restart. Car is in. Green, green, green. Go. Yeah, that wasn't very good. I drive my best, but that was not very good. Outside. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high. Yeah, I think you want to be on the outside, probably. Clear outside if you want it. All right, we got Lewandowski behind us. Takes me a lap or two to get up to speed here because I'm always super nervous driving this car. Kind of get, get the feel of how much it's willing to give me at the start of a run. Leaders there are very close to one another. Ten not giving him much space. That could get worrisome. They're going to battle each other, which we want to see, but we are going to be on the outside now. Pit road is closed. We're under caution. Pit's closed. The base car's out. Line up single file behind car number 12. 
So that's unfortunate. We got another yellow. Starting to Catch feel like my prediction 12. that uh, that first one's going to be the longest. Might have been accurate, but still early, I guess. We'll do some more pacing. Still can't make it to the end. No reason to uh, hit, I feel like. He was driving like a knob. Natural selection. <laughs> well, we'll see uh, what the driving was, lo was looking like at the end when we look at the incidents. Huh. But, uh, sounds like it's not too great. You get the people that are really trying to save for long run here, and then you get the guys that are going like, I want all the track position right now, and uh, then you get just a bad mix. I think that's something that can happen a lot of times here, especially because you're going so fast. You got a pretty big braking zone here at Rockingham. Lots of cars reach each other in the braking zone. And when things tighten up, especially out of, say, turn two, the exit of uh, turn two, then cars come together. Going okay right now, though. We are the number four car in fourth place. We've been hanging around right where we started. I feel like we're doing okay with the tires, if this were to go green for a long time again. Four course yellow. Pits are open. And even if not, we've still got some good track position, so I'm happy with how this is going so far. I feel like I could probably catch up to that uh, black number 10 in P2 if uh, there were a long run. Feels like he's driving a little hard. 12 gets biased because I'm terrible on these restarts. We'll see if I have any more luck on the outside. Road, I'm just such a big baby because I'm afraid to put the throttle down. I don't want to be the guy self-spinning or whatever on the restart. Especially after seeing an 8,000 plus I rating guy self-spin in front of the field on the lap one. That tells you it's not easy when you've got the cold tires and you're heading out into, uh, into the first corner. It can snap on you, so that's just what I'm afraid of. I'd rather be a little slower than a, a little bit too fast. I think the outside will help, though. I think this is going to be a better place for us. You can carry more speed through one and two. We'll see how it works. Ooh, yeah. I don't know, maybe uh maybe we do want second gear now. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. It just feels so slow, man. Maybe we go for it. Maybe we go uh second gear this time. Especially since uh you know, we're not on the front row. Saves us from having to do a shift. And uh if this works out terribly. At least I learned something. <laughs> I guess it's the bright side. We'll get it started again. I think if we get another yellow, we might be within fuel distance. So that'll be something to keep an eye on. Hopefully some green lamps, though. I like second gear. That's good. Back in third. Keep hustling. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there. Hold yeah, better line. start. I think you definitely want to be on the outside if you can be. What if we go for track position here if we're assuming they're going to wreck again? Can we safely assume that? I don't know. Probably not. 
feel like we're doing okay where we are, though, so we'll just keep doing the tire saving line. It's done well for us so far, so no reason to change it. We go high now. Try to get by this guy. Well, that was a three point seven. The yellow flag jazz. Oh, God, come on, man. In single file. Close. Pit road is closed. It's closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car ten. I'd like to race, man. Come on. Felt like I had a chance to get around him. We can probably make it on fuel now. The pit road is now open. Well, of course, yellow. Pits are open. But does that mean we come in? I think we do. I think we have to. Your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. I think most guys noticing we can make it on fuel. We think we'll need to stop again. I'm reluctant to take these tires, but I'm going to. The pit box team, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Let's see. 9291. Not too bad, but I'm happy with my choice here. Third away through the race. That's it, go. You only have one tire right, Save your fuel. They want you in single file. Catch the 10, car. Now this could get scary. We got some people that stayed out. And they're going to be slower. Pits are open. We can make it now on fuel. Which is very important. That is not quite as many as I thought, though. We've got Larry staying out, it looks like. Looking to maybe get some of that track position back that he lost. Could definitely work out. Lewandowski also stayed out. We could potentially have to keep these tires for a long time. I'll buy. So, it's going to be interesting. I think this far back in the field, we're definitely going to take uh, a second gear start. Especially because the guys that are launching are going to be a little bit slower, presumably. Hoping we're actually in 8th place, like it says. Let so we can start on the outside. Pits are open. As far as I can tell, Larry didn't get any damage from his spin earlier, so he's not unlikely to get back into this thing. One left to green. You're on the Zero outside this time. Four, get to three. Okay, Carlton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. We're right on the mark for making it on fuel. That's why I wanted to come in. So the off chance this goes green, we're going to be in good shape. But even still, we haven't lost too much space. And the guys that are in front of us hold the tires. We'll see what happens. This could get dangerous. Hopefully guys are patient when they're getting around holding the tires. Pit 
Pike carries off. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Pit window is now open. Inside. Eighth place. Clear inside. Okay, they're going three wide. <laughs> of course they are. Red Bull. Oh, guys, below sliding. Clear inside. You get around him. I'm gonna go high side around the Red Bull car. Inside. Inside. Clear inside. Not really gonna actually give us a lane apparently. Car outside. Keep low. Almost overdrove that into him. Stay low. Thankfully, we're okay. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. P6. The car in front has just done a like three point seven. Stay low. There is a car. He's holding on to us for some reason. I don't understand the play there. He's got older tires. Outside it's a losing clear. battle. He's just wasting both of our time. But we get it done. Six. Still gonna save tire. So like I said before, we might need to be on this set for a long time. Oh, trying to get to his inside there. He's just so much slower through the corner. So he's on the older tires, I guess. Keep low. Yeah, he hasn't pit yet. You're in fit. Got the apron a little bit there though, we're okay. Clear high. Car outside. Oh my god, he nearly rear ended me. They're fighting hard for the lead. Even more reason for me, I think, to take it easy. You can see we're gaining on them. Only guy that's also on fresh tires in front of us left is the 10 car. We're green. We're green right now. Imagine if it went to the end. How cool would that be? I can dream, right? I'm allowed to do that. Slower through the corner yeah, here. Guy ahead. I think I have to overtake him. Could have stayed up there, but that's okay. Yeah, I got loose, and then I tried to correct it and overcorrected it. It's fucking up. Now I got the meatball, so I'm kind of fucking up. Uh, inside. Still there, hold your line. Meatball. Still there. Clear inside. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay okay. low. Gotta be smart about this. Stay low. You're back in fourth position. Still there. Hold your line. I don't know why the 12 is so low. Outside. Out of the corner. Keep low. Clear outside. Outside. Keep low. 
Still there, hold your eyes. You're back in third. Keep hustling. Keep low. Clear outside. All right. Hold on to it. Keep that low line. And we're P2 with an old tire Larry in front of us. Go figure, he found a way to get back to the lead pretty much as soon as possible. You're in second position right now. But we should have the advantage, theoretically, right now. Gonna let the tires cool down a little bit after pushing a little bit, a couple of laps. Man, imagine if this went green, that would be so cool. Of course, he can't make it on fuel. My calculator says we're missing about 0 0.3 gallons, but if we needed to save a little bit, that would not be that difficult to do. Our pace is going to slow down anyway, so we're probably going to naturally save that amount and more. Slowly catching up to Larry. He's doing a great job carrying so much speed even with those older tires. Take it too. Managing them very well. Ten's coming back to us. I'm gonna continue running my tire saving line. So if he wants to get around that's fine. Outside. Doing the high line. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Thought we were gonna be three wide for a second there, so I really backed yeah, off. Caution, caution. Yellow flag. Line up Close, pit road is closed. Pace cars out. Line up single file. Oh, well we can't take our last set now. Caution, pits are closed. And of course right when the tang gets by us again. That might have been a worst case scenario for us, where we get enough laps where it's slowing us down on tires. Keep not enough to actually take a chunk out of this race. That's frustrating. Can't keep it green long enough. We had a ton of people come in with us before, so I'm hoping they do the same thing here. Larry will have fresher tires, but he has a lot more people to go through than we did. Theoretically. I'm watching behind us to see if that's actually the truth. Okay. The guys that stayed out before coming in, but I think a lot of people staying out. That's what we need. Car 14. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. You're okay for fuel, but there's not much to spare. Let the 14. All right. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. We're probably good on fuel. We'll save some more just in case. I'm just going to do second gear. I don't trust myself to do first gear, to be honest. Even if I am the front row. Pits are open. I think there's a slight advantage if you do first gear perfectly. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it right. The road is closed right now. The pace car is out. Pits are closed. So who is the first person on new tires? I want to say it's Larry. It would have to be, right? So 12th place. He's got decent amount of people to go through. I'm sure he can do it. But we saw how treacherous it was when we were trying to move forward. Passing here is a uh, dangerous prospect. 
And he's got more of it to do than us, so there could be, you know, trouble back there. Don't wish that on anybody, but it is a real risk that they're going to have to deal with. And we'll still have a set of tires for later, which could be very important if we get a caution with like 20 to go or something. Some interesting strategy that having only two sets of tires brings about. You gotta be, One to go. you gotta Next really time. plan ahead and think about when you're gonna time. use such a precious commodity. Okay. I think we should be okay restarting in second. Might have to lift a little bit when we get up to the higher RPMs, but I think on the initial launch here we should be okay when we hit the gas pedal. Hopefully we can see the 10 car well enough. Could be tough. Green flag, green flag. Pit road is now open. That works. Old tires pretty slippery in one and two. Gotta be careful. And back at it. Let's get some laps in. push all that hard, but those guys are coming from back there. We push harder right now. I don't know, man. I might... I want to save tire. I want to be good on the long run, but if we never get a long run, then what's the point? kind of stuck in between what I want to do right now. I mean, we're already seeing smoke. There's a guy in the fake pit road. <laughs> so, something's already happened. They're battling back there. That affords me some time. I think maybe I kind of go tire saving for the most part here for a while. And then if they start approaching, maybe I try to hold on to the spot. I don't know. I'm torn. space behind the six, so maybe I let the six by. That might be the plan. He's running that higher line, presumably hurting his right front. I think we can pass him again later. Heck, maybe he'll uh, burn it off before he can pass us. We'll see. Even if it's not necessarily burning it off, if he hurts it more than we've been able to keep ours, we'll be okay. He's got Lewandowski on his inside now, though, and Lewandowski's got the new tires. But he's gonna be a rocket ship. He's made his way up here quick. No contest for him. Stay high, 
clear. Inside. Still Just gotta inside. let these guys go. Clear. They had no trouble making their way back up. In fact, we got more guys on fresh tires coming. Car inside, clear. Just gonna give them bottom. Clear inside. Oh, I figured out how to be faster. Just get tired. Okay, I think that's the last of the fastest of guys. Ready to overtake us. I found that not spinning out or hitting things helps a lot. You've just done a 24.4. Three car looking Lewandowski. like he's ready to come past us. He's not on fresh tires though. Oh, Lewandowski just got spawned. The yellow flag is out. They want you in oh, no. Pit no. road is closed. Get to 12. Go. We're under caution. It's closed. Well, it's closed. now I think we pit. That sucks. That looked like he took a big hit I to the inside wall, too. A hole outside, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you were staying down, giving me the lay on top. Wasn't trying to turn you, brother. Like the tank got into him. Can three not go to my inside, please? I'm trying to hit here. We're gonna fill it up with fuel. Make sure that uh, the car's turning still. More weight equals more turn, theoretically. So we're gonna do that. Take our last set of tires. Oh wow! Look at that. Leader's coming in too. Did that guy speed? He was entering pretty hot. We're gonna be on our last set, but so are a lot of these guys. Alright, 88, 88. Good on the tires. Feeling pretty good about that. Did I not tell them to put fuel in this thing? I guess it auto turned off. That's annoying. Move it, move it. What turtle do? They're tied. Make them laugh. All right, how many people right. stand out? Single file. It's a fake sponsor from the EA NASCAR games. <laughs> I think that twelve took two tires. Are open. I don't know. Could be. Could work. Those left sides are looking pretty worn too. Got a lap car pitting there. So we will be in six. That's good. We're on the outside. We're listed a seventh because the uh, fourth place guy just now came in. How do we approach this? Mod 7. Well, the first two guys are on all tires, I think. Need you to pass me, seven. So we're going to have to be careful a little bit. Hmm. It's getting closer to the end of this thing, though, so we're going to want to keep some spots. I want to put ourselves in a hole, especially if we could start getting a bunch of rapid fire cautions. Larry thinks he's uh, oh, starting on the outside, I think, because he's got six on his screen. Yeah, the guy pit. Usually people don't pit a lap later. I got to beat the pedals. Do you have a squeak in your pedals that you have to get rid of from time to time? Hmm. Yes. 
Where in the frick is it coming from? Uh, you gotta move up the, the shafts and the, thr uh, the uh, throttle and the brake. With the, they send you, they had, when you bought the pedals, they gave you some lubricant in there that you're supposed to use. And that will get rid of it. The shaft where the spring was at? Alright. Yes. Gotta watch on this restart okay, for those thought, top two man. to spin their tires. Else, man, except for that. Uh, I did that a little bit. Find a way around okay, safely, <laughs> and we'll uh, worry about the guys on the same tires. I got some good lithium movement. That was the only thing I didn't really do up that well. The pace car is in. Thank you. Green, two green, spinning green, tires real bad, as I was worried about. Sixth place. The car inside. Still there. Stuck inside. behind him. Clear. The car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. Stay low. There is a car. What's on the happening up in front of us? But it looks scary. Outside. Clear. Outside. Sticking his nose on exit. Stay about low. to wreck us. Stay low. Still there. Uh, You're back in Keep low. Outside, clear. Car oh my god, I wish this guy was not hanging on our right Stay rear. Low. It's killing us right now. Go low. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. V6, the next car is on. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside if you hey. want to. Hello. Gotta get around the three. Outside. Team is spinning. Clear up top. This guy has absolutely killed this run for me right now. Are you kidding me? Get out of the way. Have to slam on the brakes for him. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Keep low. Doesn't have too much problem getting around the three in his old tires. Gotta get the right opportunity and do it. 15 sliding. Look at all this time we're losing the guys ahead because of all this. Unbelievable, man. Never gonna be able to pass on the inside, so we're just gonna have to figure something else else out, I guess. If I calm the tires down a little bit for a lap or two. We were pushing hard there for a minute. We just got a slide going up, I think. Keep low. Oh, he's driving in too hard. Not gonna work. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Very frustrating. You just, Clear I can't outside. pass on the inside. Doesn't matter how hard I try. Be fine. That could be my own skill issue, but, uh,. It's not going to happen, so we're going to have to figure out a way to the outside somehow if we want to pass, despite the fact we catch him every exit of two, it feels like.
Definitely don't want to fight the 15 anymore. Already lost so much time from him. Smooth laps here, and then eventually we'll see if we can pass on the outside of the six. Still is a decent bit of uh, number of laps to go, so we gotta be smart. I feel like we're doing better on tires than the guys ahead. It looks like they're sliding a whole lot on entry right onto that right front. Six looking like he's going to pass the 12. I'll we'll just run right into him up there. Oh my god, I hope they're not connecting. They are. you got to be kidding me. Watch your speed. And no caution. Couldn't have thrown a caution on that one, huh? <sighs> Great start to the oh, season. Dude, I did. Pit box Someone team. did. Ten. But I think they hit the tires. Five. Three. Two. One. Right I guess we finish it out. There's not very many laps left. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. Don't cross the white line. Got to find an empty spot on track, I guess. He Kyle Larson to the uh, sand barrel, but... Of course. Of course. Okay, we'll be Had an excellent run going, but those guys can't keep it off each other. I don't know how we're still going. I'm surprised our car's not split in half. Like that Michael Waltrip wreck at Bristol. Or like uh, the Mike Harmon one that looked very similar where they crashed into the gate <laughs> around the outside wall. I feel like our car should be in half right now. Maybe I racing should add some uh, sand physics so when we hit the barrels it explodes and then a caution comes out. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Did he just fly off the track? I'm curious what the, uh... Damage says. Damage in various places. My brain, my spinal cord. I even bit my tongue. Oh, and the car is split in half, too. Uh, we had a top five, easy, if those guys just didn't wreck. And if they just didn't wreck right into me. Just lovely. So we'll limp across the line, I guess. We've got about uh, five laps to go, I think, now, since we're lapped down. This is uh, Carl Edwards after his Talladega crash running across the line energy. Doesn't really count for much, but at least we finished the race. Wreck on the back. Oh, don't wreck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Pit road is closed. Jetstar 18. 
Uh, I just want this thing to be over, man. Right, Why you gotta do this to me? I died. died. It's just a question because I'm like many laps down. How many laps are left? Five. Five to go. Time to push. Time to push, Time yeah. Someone's gonna be needing Eight. to push my wheelchair. Car number 17. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Uh, we're at three to go, and we should have green light checkers. I'll take my four tires. Thank you. Looks very like we much. might pass somebody uh, that was in that rack. Well, I guess it wasn't entirely pointless coming back out here. Again, I, I can't believe this car's running. We just destroyed that sand barrel, which may as well be a concrete barrel with how the physics works. In this game, so yeah, happened a little bit too late to save our race. Looks like this is the final time we'll try for Green a green check ticket finish. Car seventeen got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the Lundowski outside. Lundowski is beating us, even though he went nose first into the inside wall. It'll put us back to the back once uh, we get uh, closer to going green again. No wave around for us. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember who were the guys that got into me. I think the 12 was one of them, so he's out. I feel like I probably got the worst of that, though. Pardon. In front of Letter pitting. 3. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Letter 18. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. So this will be our one and only green light checkered. Letter 19. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Letter 19. Carbide. Catch up 18. Car. I think that 19 is coming. We're going to have to let him by. Catch up, 18. Car. Let the 19. Here he Carbide. is. Is the, the 17 coming? He is. Doesn't look like we're letting him by though. Do you not get here in time maybe? So we're just gonna fall back. We've got no one on our lap that we're fighting right now. Let you know now, Brady, I'm on old tires. I'm not gonna be fast on the three start here. So we can't, can't be completely lazy on this because we gotta give those guys behind us on the lead lap, or at least a better lap than I am, get ready, going a decent green. start, and then we'll move out of the way once we get a good chance. What are the chances they wreck on the restart here? 100. Green flag, green flag. <sighs> Got two laps to go. That was real cool. 15th place. Those guys by. No reason to fight them. 
Lewandowski's in the wall. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. We can't gain any more positions even if they wreck at this point, so we're just gonna hang back. White make sure we can miss whatever happens. We'll get this ready. Because it was a good race. At least until uh, it went hey, bad for hey, us. Larry, that was a good race, man. I, I appreciate it. That was a really good time. Thank you. Thanks for the good race. Car ahead. Sucks for us, but it happens. There's the flag. It's over. Now I'll actually get 14. Good win. Good race, good race. Probably at the end there, uh, Samuel. Larry says. We've got a dent in our forehead. Right, P14. Let's hear it for P14. And uh, we'll take a look at the wrecks, including what took us out. Meaning the cars that got into us, not the sand barrel that actually took us out. So lap one, Larry gets sideways, but he'll come back for a P2. Because he had the maximum amount of time to recover from that. We go lap 10, the 21, driving way too hard under there. 21, looking like he's going to drive way too hard into there and kill the 6. That was just awful. I don't know why he's entering, like, on the yellow line, but that is a bad idea. And then just dive bombing the guy. That's a... That has the look of somebody that, like, does road racing and, like, never does um, oval racing or something, because... I feel like any oval racer should know that you've got to not enter like parallel with the line there. You got to take an angle. Good job on lap one. Nice recovered, man. No, how about nice recovery? Yeah, no worries. Like I said, cold tires on that first corner, sometimes it's just nice rank, especially when you kind of have to hold it down low like like that, and you put more wheel into it, it just it is extremely difficult, so. Five, I'm gonna run over the 19 after he gets the wall. I don't know if he like wasn't looking or maybe didn't want to lift, but Gets into the back of him. I think he wasn't paying attention. Chatting on TM speaks to Larry. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, didn't end up hurting anybody else. And uh, heck, didn't even really hurt him because he was able to come back from it. So let's see what happened to you. Let me see if you got caught in. Yep. Yeah, so that's just racing sometimes. And uh, hey, if we're gonna start on a low point, at least uh, maybe we can get better. So 21 continuing to not be very good. I'm sorry, man, but he was uh, being a little chatty at the start. I don't know what he was saying, but probably needed to do a little more practice. Cause he's making the same mistake again, it looks like. Uh, he's, he's more up the track, he just drives in too hard. So we will see. Yeah, 
yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to run. I like to bring some variety to my schedule, but I love the Gen 4 car, and this is a really fun combo, and I know I can do better, so I might run this again. Have a good one. Larry, good finish to him. See, we needed to uh, have our issue on lap one instead of <laughs> like 10 laps to the finish. So Rick and Morty here gets into the back of, looks like a suave car after the suave car gets sideways. That turn two always being pretty tricky. Moving along, lap 49. That's uh, some blinking out of the 12. It was pretty clean for a while for the most part. We had a couple issues, but yeah, <laughs> three wide on uh, the exit of two. Probably not going to work. 12 way too low, although I bet he didn't even get a three wide call, so he probably has no idea. That's kind of tricky. I think somebody probably needs to reconsider three wide. I don't know who needs to reconsider. Maybe, uh, I don't know, Dante's got like a whole prairie of space down here. <laughs> So I can kind of see why he wanted to do that, but might have been better to hold off. Then again, maybe he doesn't even know the 12 is still on the outside. Tough to say. So everything happens so fast, man. He gets the worst of it too, which is unfortunate. 17, gonna find some wall. A little bit of some wall tap. Don't think there's anything major here. Lewandowski just gets turned. Well, Ten was saying he thought that he was going to give him the lane. Yeah, I can see how. That sucks for Dante. He, might, he got a black flag there, I guess. On that last restart, the whole field was like spinning their tires, so. We'll see that, I'm sure, because a couple of guys smacked into the wall. That'll show up in the incidents, I imagine. Just like all that blinking that we're seeing. Martin Truex Jr. into the wall. And his 19 Bass Pro scheme. Oh, the net code, man. You kidding me? They were really close, but that was net code. And then, of course, they just travel all the way down to the bottom to get me. I couldn't even see that happening above me. How did my car keep going after that? <laughs> Yeah, well, this is how my uh, season started. I should not have been able to continue after that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, We'll pass through. Was my rear tire sticking out after that? My axle's, like, broken, and yet it was still driving. Look at that. That's really funny. It didn't feel bad at all, either. It was handling decently. Maybe it's just the side is pushed in and it's not actually sticking out. <laughs> but it's uh, not really what you want, regardless. And then uh, we'll see what uh, we were not involved in, I guess, as the field continued without us. At least until the final caution. Rick and or Morty into the wall. Not sure who's driving. Ah, uh, okay. Man, Lewandowski again. Getting bit by somebody out of two. 16 bounces off and gets him, and then... There, I believe, was the caution. As he's sideways there? Maybe not. Yeah, it was. And then uh, everybody's spinning their tires up. Let's see, where was Dante? 
Because we know he got a black flag, and I think that's how we finished ahead of him. Yep, because he passed the uh, suave car, the 13. That's that's really dumb. If only, I, I don't know how iRacing would fix that, but I wish they could. It's just hard with the automated scoring system to prevent that false thing from happening, but also not allow people to jump the start. So the 10 gets the win. He, uh, well, pretty much everybody in the field gets some incidents. Five guys with the 0x. We'll get a uh, 4x from getting hit in our wreck, but uh, not the best start to the season, unfortunately. But what you're going to do, um, nothing we could really do about that. Just two guys getting together because of net code, and then they just happened to travel down the track right into me, and then I happened to travel right into a sand barrel. So we'll see what we lost. Uh, definitely lose a huge chunk of I rating. Maybe safety rating unless we've banked enough safe corners to hold on to our A499. 34 or 7 strength of field. We will lose 68 I rating, and uh, we'll hold even with our 499. I can do so much better. I know I can. Uh, we were running in the top five. I think we had a top five. Which, uh, it's too bad. But, is what it is. That'll do it for this one. We start our season the wrong side up, I guess. After we hit the barrel, but can only go, uh, can only go better from here, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one where hopefully we'll have some better luck. Hope to see you there. Have a good rest of your day. See ya.